All right, folks, in this video, we are going to be creating nice and elegant layout for our videos inside of DaVinci Resolve. And we're going to be doing this right inside the edit page. We are going to be creating a bento style layout. If you don't know already, then bento is actually inspired by the concept of Japanese bento box. As you can see right over here, that's what's inspired this design. Of course, you have a traditional split screens, the vertical and the horizontal ones, but this is a little bit different. So let's see how to do this. Let's drag in our clips onto the timeline. So I have uh, some footages over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the video only. I'm going to just use this option over here so that it just gets the video and not the audio. Drag that in and then let's just uh, resize it so that they are all of the same length. The next thing that you want to do is we are going to add the video collage effect. So let's just drag that in onto the clip which is at the top. Right. So in the video collage, you have to already set the amount of columns and rows that you want to use. So I'm going to go for a three by three grid layout. You can also preview the layout. If you click on this checkbox over here, you can see now we have these uh, nine boxes in total, which we can put our videos into. So I'm going to disable this uh, and to put the video inside the box, you have to switch the workflow over here and you have to select create tile. Right, so you can see that video is taking the first tile over here. We can change that. If you go to the tiles over here, you can see that the active tile is selected tile one, but we are free to choose from any of these nine layouts or the boxes we have over here. If I set this to tile number nine, the video will be in the ninth tile. So set this to tile one for now. Let's um, copy this effect right click copy and i'm going to go to the second track over here right click click on paste attributes and i'm going to make sure that the plugins is checked over here click on apply and the second video will also have the same effect i'm going to do this for the uh the other video the other track as well you can select all of them at once and paste the attributes that's also possible so let's just paste the attributes over here i'm going to go to the effects over here Make sure I am in the create tile workflow and the tiles button is enabled. And here I can choose the active tile. Now, if I want to change the tile, I can click on the preview layout. I want my second video to take up the tile two and tile three. So in the active tile, we will start from tile two and to stretch it out to tile three, what we have to do is go to custom size slash shape and you have the start and the end column and the start row and the end row. And we're going to stretch it out to three, right? So we have to expand or extend this end column. So if you set this to three, now you can see it's stretched two columns. And if I disable the preview layout, you can see our second video is taking up these two columns. Now on the first image, you can see we have these yellow borders. You can fix that by going into the resize content over here. And make sure this is in the tiles tab. If you are not, then chances are you will not be able to see it so go to tiles and ex expand or you know increase the zoom over here and there are a lot of settings over here that you can play around with you can change the style the drop shadow if you want to enable that and uh, you have the tile animation easing animation which will look at the end so once you are happy with this then let's do this for the third layout and for the third layout i'm actually going to go into the preview layout what I want to do is I want to take the fourth tile. So we will select the active tile to tile four. And I want to stretch it out across. I want I want this video track to take all these six places. So let's go to custom size slash shape. And we have to extend the end row. And we have to extend the end column. So now it's taking all the space that is left great so if you disable the preview layout you can see we have this really cool layout designed and now you can also animate this so if i go to the very first frame and i can start animating this tile the very first one so i'll just go to custom size slash shape i will keyframe the start column and let's go to frame let's go to two second in time and I can 
move the end column so if i just extend this let's make sure it takes like two columns so we can set this to two let's go to the second track over here and create the animation on it as well so let's go to the very first frame and i will keyframe the start column uh, and let's go to frame or go to two second in time that's where our second keyframes are for this animation and let's extend this start column to three so there we have it then if it's needed you can go to the resize content and increase the size so that we get rid of the yellow borders so if you take a look at it this is how it is going to look looks pretty cool now after two seconds i want the videos at the top to take up the rows as well so i will animate the rows this time so i'll just select the very first track which is at the top go to custom size slash shape and animate the end row this time so i'll just create a keyframe there and let's go to four second or yeah let's go to four second in time and increase the end row so i'm gonna set this to two and i'm gonna repeat this process for my second track as well so let's go to two second in time and we will animate the end row let's go to four second and increase the end row again great so we have an animation this will stretch to the right and then it will extend downwards like so now i want to create the animation on my third track as well which is at the bottom so i'm going to go to two second in time select my third layer go to custom size slash shape and i want to animate the uh, row and the column as well so let's animate all of these properties that's completely fine you can turn on all these four keyframes if it's confusing so let's just um go to four second in time and change the end row and let's change the start row that's pretty much it so you will end up with animation like this yeah that's looking pretty cool now for the easing part let's go to the easing and blur of all titles so let's expand that and we have the motion and sizes if you select that and go to in and out and crank that up to 100 or one whatever the maximum value is play this again uh, you can see how it looks and you have to do this for all these three uh, tracks so set this to in and out set it to one set it to in and out and set the ease amount to one take a look at it this is how it is going to look looks pretty clean and professional um so yeah that is basically it that's how you can create this really cool layout inside of the ministry resolve right inside the edit page yeah i hope this video was helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one